long time no see him. Just uh, just been. Uh, there's like three things I never like to talk about: health, weather, and uh, not having time. Uh, I I'll kind of explain it with a story. Uh, years and years ago, back in basic training, we were in the field and just wet, miserable, and tired. And uh, I was complaining, and a guy to my left, or a guy next to me, uh, just said, in kind of the tone that your grandfather would talk to you, not in a condescending way, uh, just kind of said, uh, if you look to your left, look to your right, everybody's experiencing the same thing, and you're not helping out by talking or complaining about it. And uh, I try to take that Stoics approach of not just shutting the hell up. Sometimes it's just best. <laughs> So, uh, that's just the reason why I haven't been making very, very many videos. I started a new job, um, and with the holiday season, it's just going to be gonna be busy and not going to see any videos, really. But I have a lot of videos lined up. Um, well, they're not I'm lying. They're not lined up. <laughs> uh, I probably have like 30, 40 videos I have to get to. Um, so I have to edit, and then uh, I don't have any internet here in the uh, apartment, so I'll have to go to the library and upload from there. Um, this one here, I'm just shooting on my, on my phone. I'll upload, upload uh, Wi-Fi with no video magic editing or anything like that. Um, but uh, earlier this morning, I got done smoking a uh, bowl of, uh, it's a McClellan's 2015 Virginia Perique bulk blend. And uh, I took a dab of that and a pinch of this, a pinch of that, of uh, Mississippi River, and a uh, little tiny bit of Cornell and Deal Autumn Eden. I don't know why I'm showing you the top of the jar. A little bit of top. <laughs> Autumn Evening there. Autumn Evening is a, uh, it's aromatic. It's kind of a maple syrup, butterscotch aromatic. Uh, just want to add a little bit of sweetness without, I think it's a little bit uh, too overpowering by itself. And uh, it's quite sweet. Pretty good smoke out of this. Uh, this is a GBD New Era. Uh, an old, I don't know how old it is. I've had it for a while and it was a, a vintage pipe off of eBay. But the green on this is really, it's a really nice pipe. It's like a um, dished, canted bowl and a flop bottom. A little bit of a sitter there. The GBD logo right there. Like a brass inlay there on the stem. I haven't been smoking this pipe very much. I've tended to, uh, uh, usually I smoke a few bowls throughout the day. Not throughout the day, one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, but uh, I'm not a patient smoker and I just burn the hell out of my tongue. And uh, so I smoke more filtered pipes than anything else. And this one here isn't filtered, but what I've found are these little rolled up, this is, uh, I believe this is made by D-Brand or something like that. These are Chinese things that you buy off eBay. You can buy them off of smoke pipes or pipe subscribers or anything. eBay is the only place I've been able to find them. This is a thin rolled up piece of paper. You just drop that into your stem. And, uh, it does restrict the draw. It helps out a little bit, I find. Uh, not as not as good as a charcoal filter, but um, it saves my tongue a little bit. And uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, where would it go? Is it okay? This was my great grandfather's uh, Zippo, and uh, Zippo is a hell of a company that stands behind their product. Um, if you look on the bottom with the uh, italic script and the three dots on the left and four dots on the right, you can date these. Uh, I think this was, I don't remember, but I think it was like 55, 56, somewhere in the 50s that this dated from. And when I got it, it was bent to hell. I sent it off to Zippo. Uh, the re uh, there's still scratch marks on the bottom there, but they were able to pull the dents out 
and the hinge is falling off and they uh, spot welded a new hinge on and then they threw in a new insert um, the old insert uh, the rivet on the uh, striker wheel was coming off and it was it, it was unusable and so they did all that free of charge I, all I did was pay for shipping a hell of a deal but uh, if you're going through Zippo flints like mad, here's kind of a tip for you. Uh, if you take your uh, big lighter, once it's done and dead, <laughs> pull the guts out and take out this, uh, the big flint, you'll notice it's really, there's a lot of flint left. So much flint left that it won't fit into your Zippo. You just take a pair of dice or cutters and have it. And... Uh, I don't know if it's um, a harder material than what Zippo uses, but uh, it lasts longer. That's a Zippo flint unused. Here's the uh, big flint that is used. If I can hold it without dropping, compare the two here. You see there's a lot more material left. So if you have a graveyard of bigs laying around, I save you a few pennies from buying those Zippo flints. So that's all I got to. Oh, here's the uh, old case. We are into old Zippo. Zippo stuff I thought was kind of neat. Hell of a company. American made. Stand behind the product. Quite pleased. Quite pleased. Not so much with the flints, but. <laughs> all right. Enjoy your Thanksgiving and uh, see you later.